Is migrant crime a hoax? It is not a hoax. I just spent a week, Jesse, undercover with the Polk County, Florida Sheriff's Office, Grady Judd, the sheriff there. In the course of a week, we did a predator investigation, predators looking for children online, and a human trafficking investigation. The human trafficking side, 228 people arrested in a week, 10% illegal immigrants, citizens from other countries. Are they being trafficked or are they traffickers? It's both. So in one case, and we have this on video, and you'll see this coming up on True Blue, we have two women coming into a hotel room, all on hidden camera, being recorded. They cut a deal, sex with the undercover, two women, $1,300. And later after the arrest, they told investigators they had to earn $3,000 a week to pay the people who smuggled them into this country. So they're indebted to the cartels who have trafficked them, and then they pay off that debt through a life of crime in the United States. That's the only way they can make this money, and they're forced into it. So three Venezuelans arrested, one man who was pimping these women out, and the two victims of human trafficking. They're saying crime is down where all of these migrants are heading. Maybe overall, crime has gone down, but you have cases of horrific crimes. The case here and in Georgia. A guy, you know, a few months ago was taking selfies, Jose Ibarra, in Times Square, and now he's accused of killing 22 year old Lincoln Riley. And you have to remember that in the last year, the stats will show 79,000 illegal immigrants came into this country with criminal histories. But each one of those, on average, has committed at least four crimes, according to the statistics. And these are all verified. So suddenly, 79,000 turns into, you know, 300. Do you 000. even believe these statistics? I mean, you don't know who's coming across, you don't know the Godaways. Half of these things they could just be making up. Well, they could be, but, you know, the Border Patrol, Homeland Security, INS, they want to put these stats together. They want to arrest these people. They don't want to see this happen. They don't want to see somebody on whom they have an immigration hold allowed to go free in a sanctuary city because they don't recognize the immigration hold. There, the criminal justice system has another crack at some of these bad guys, and they're not doing it. And one other thing, I talked to recently a sheriff down at the border in Arizona who told me that he gets as many as 250 kids, children today, coming over the border, and they're lost. Disappear. The Disappear. What happens to those kids? Well, I think we know, and that's tragic. Take that with Chris Hansen, True Blue TV. Check it out. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you.